Okay, my membership to the Shining Fingered will automatically renew on the 17th. Make sure your account has at least $800 by then. Jill is lost in thought about her hollow plant. Buying it will prevent her from getting too distracted. Okay, I can now browse Danger. Okay, I can now visit JC Elton's. Let's buy a hollow plant. Can I do that? Shop. Let's go shopping. I want the hollow plant, don't I? We've got cute clay houses. Hollow plant. $600 in memory of a real potted plant. Got one. Okay, Jill bought the plant she wanted and she's pleased with herself. She will surely focus at work. Okay, let's check out the phone. What's good? D. Dangerous Opinions. Mickey Concert. Okay. I'm going to marry Mickey. Stop being such an attention seeking whore. Okay. <laughs> There's the comments section. <laughs> okay, let's talk about Alice Rabbit. Okay, so this is kind of like a discussion board, people talking about what's going on there. Okay. And the other Mickey concert. Hmm. Okay, what else is on the phone? AE. Augmented oh, Eye. Okay, local woman, local hero. By Lana Smithy. This morning, a suicide attempt was thwarted by an unidentified local woman. The incident occurred at the Artemis Wheel Mall, where other people noticed someone was at the rooftop of the building. Firefighters were called as soon as their presence was noticed by pedestrians, but the person jumped off without notice. Just when the would-be suicidal victim jumped off, a local woman was able to catch them mid-air and fled from the scene before anyone could identify her. The mall is taking extra security measures now. Okay. 70% of our readers consider shrimp ramen to be disgusting. Uh, it's probably okay. Okay, I think Alice Rabbit might be a dog. Don't trust this dog. Okay, after receiving brain enhancements, they're capable of learning at near human speeds. If you've seen Cowboy Bebop, that's, that's a fairly blatant reference. Okay, and then it's gone binary, which I don't know binary, so I'm not going to be able to translate that for anybody. Okay, go to work. Wednesday, December the 14th. Good evening. Hey, Jill. Dana. <laughs> uh, that's the sound you don't hear every day. Boss, what are you doing with that helmet? I was just about to ask you where it came from. <laughs> A white knight came yesterday. She left and she forgot to take it with her. I figured she'd eventually come looking for it, so I left it under the count. Wait. Do you regularly put things on without asking who they belong to first? I don't plan and evaluate every move, Jill. I just act. <laughs> anyway, as your boss, I'm taking this helmet until the client comes for it. Okay, yeah, you sound happy about that. I look at the background, there's some like, wrestling going on. Anyway, well, this helmet's comfortable and cool and comfortable and cool and really, really cool. Hello. It's strange that you're late, Jill. Yeah. The traffic was, ugh, well, now what's wrong with this guy? Don't run, you have work to do. I'm not going back to Hong Kong. Hong Kong, chief. <laughs> Sorry, I thought you were someone else. Who's he running from? Okay, I'll leave the rest up to you. I'll detonate the Pluto warhead somewhere safe. Uh, the what where now? <laughs> Nothing, don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, she seems happy. She's been tense the last couple of days. Is she somehow relaxed now? Good. Are you all set? Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Let's get some music going. Go. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Oh, it's this guy again. Hey, Brett, you're in luck. I decide to bless this place again. Luck, he says. Oh, Mr. Donovan, welcome to Valhalla. What can I get you? What do you think I want, kid? Uh... The usual. Shit. I don't remember. Um. Fuck. Okay. I'm totally going to cheat. So I've got the old video that I've since edited. <laughs> since recording it. So if I can look that up, I can find out what drink this guy likes. This guy likes big beers. Alright. Big old beer. 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 Okay. And also, I've worked out the the shortcuts. So Q is Edelheide, W is Bronson Extract, E is Powdered Delta, 
R is Fanner Guide and Karmatrine is the T. So that means I can kind of do it a lot quicker without having to drag it each time, which is kind of cool. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and mix. Where are we at? Bam. Get yourself some beer in ya. There you go. Yeah, that's what I call service. Yes, good to hear. This guy likes beer. I need to remember that. What brings you here today, Mr. Donovan? Today, we're supposed to hand the interns an article topic. All those crazy bitches came flocking to me like the first high schooler with a car. <laughs> I couldn't deal with it, so I switched places with some poor sap. He was supposed to be doing an interview today, but to hell with that. And thanks to all that shit, I found myself here, blessing your hellhole with my presence. Okay, you were here yesterday too, how did that come about? There's this girl that's performing at a concert later tonight. Yesterday, I was tuning the details of the interview I'd have with her today. And like I said, I'd rather work here than deal with a pack of competitive bitches. Okay, fine. And how was the interview go? Easy enough. The fact that the girl had a nice pair of knockers helped. <laughs> this sleaze bag. Alright. We've come a long way in the department of Lilim sex appeal, I tell ya. She was a Lilim then? Yeah, one of those new fancy King Class CH1A models. I've heard they're anatomically correct in every way. <laughs> I wouldn't mind finding out about that myself. Hey you, guy with the John face. Uh, me? <laughs> what the hell's a John face? Yeah, you. Do I know you? I don't think so, sir. No, no, I'm pretty sure I know you. Wait, wait. It was the Hong Kong riots ten years ago, wasn't it? Uh, I've never been to Hong Kong, and I say it didn't defect from any anti-riot force after stealing supplies. Wow, Jillian. Really? That's a bummer. You look like a guy who owes me a drink. You were in those riots, Mr. Donovan. Do I look like some anarchist hippie to you? Ten years ago, I tried to start a silicon business. So I was in Hong Kong, talking with some investors when those damn riots broke out. Seriously though, did they really think the laws they were trying to pass wouldn't backfire? They were openly trying to segregate people with orientations. No matter how many they have different capabilities you put in between, it's still segregation. And once people start crying segregation, you're doomed. This is the PR sentry. If you're gonna do that, disguise it a bit. That's a very laconic way of summarising the incident. I mean, there was a political agenda revolving around cheap labour. And the plan reached such a developed stage because the media were instead in fear in the public. The general fear that augmented people would become power-hungry maniacs was a key factor in the plans. And everything is mostly the aftermath of previous protests where... On second thought, maybe it's better to be laconic. Trying to get the full picture might take you back beyond the Industrial Revolution. All that happened when I got out of high school. I remember I had to turn down a scholarship in Hong Kong because of all of that. Yeah, scholarship. That's no mean feat, brat. Well, I guess even without the scholarship, there would have been the language barrier. I remember I was kind of excited back then because I was really into this Chinese idol band. <laughs> it's one of those things I'd rather not remember much of. You'd be surprised at how easy Chinese can be. So you know how to speak Chinese. The only translator I had available was some pizza face pencil neck. And I wasn't going to allow myself to be seen with that. <laughs> if someone like me can learn Chinese in two weeks, well, I'm guessing a scholarship student might have a chance. Why do I feel like he suddenly challenged me to finally learn Chinese? Wait, when you say Chinese, do you mean Mandarin or Cantonese? Tangerine? Canto what? <laughs> When people say Chinese, they're usually referring to the written word, not the spoken one. It's important to clarify because there are lots of dialects in the Chinese language. In Hong Kong, lots of people speak Cantonese, so just saying Chinese doesn't cut it. You might have learned Cantonese because you're only going to Hong Kong. Or you might have learned Mandarin because it's the one spoken by the majority elsewhere. I went to Hong Kong and managed to see the deal. I have no idea about anything else. <laughs> right. Anyways, surely a student with a scholarship can serve me a Mars Blast too, right? Okay, Mars Blast. Sure, on it. Mars Blast. Does he like him big though? No, it's full, it's full. So we've got to go regular size. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, one, two, three, four, one, two. 
blended. So we just gotta let that mix go to the blend. Spicy, manly and strong. I have this one. Okay, I guess I believe your story. Aha. Uh -huh. Your kid, I got wasted yesterday, so there's a certain protocol here. Would you mind telling me if I said anything someone could use against me in a court of law? <laughs> Unless complaining about your investors can be used as a legal weapon. I don't think so. Yeah, good. Fuck those sons of bitches. <laughs> what did I tell you? How they wanted unreasonable stuff. How they feel like they have more power than you do and all that. Oh yeah, I recall something like that. But then again, it seems to be something I say a lot when I'm drunk. That and racial slurs in German. What the fuck? <laughs> Let me tell you something. There are people worse than your investors. Okay, who's that? Your clients. Excuse me. Your readers. If you think clients are always right, then you're wrong. Unless I'm the client, that is. We live in an era where PR is the first and only word in anything. You can sell the shittiest of stuff, and people will buy it if you're the apple of their eyes. But make one fucking mistake and it's over for you. You're suddenly a criminal to them. No chance of appeal. Gods forbid if they ever catch something you said out of context. A month ago, we had to clarify that we were talking about the animal in an article about cougars in nearby forests. <laughs> All because we got a pack of 40-year-old divorced soccer mums crying about hurt feelings. They were having picnic parties in the same forest and thought we were writing about them. God, I hope at least one of them gets eaten by their damned namesake. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's funny when somebody else hears it, but the smell of rosy perfume still makes my blood boil. Nowadays, nobody can take a joke, they're always out for blood. You can't win, you'll always offend someone. And while some take it graciously, many just love feeling insulted. They relish the thought of ganging up against something. And those hypersensitive bastards are your clients, they're the ones you have to target. I run a goddamn newspaper, the whole point is to present the news in the most neutral way possible. Being offended by a newspaper is like being angry at the mirror. <laughs> okay, let's go with that. I mean, it's not that like it's totally wrong, but... Hearing it from him is kind of... <laughs> Damn, look at the time. I've got to get back to work. Really? I just finished an interview and it must be posted as soon as possible. The fact that we're posting it after the chick finished her concert is enough of a problem already. Something delayed the interview? The interview was supposed to happen last Friday. One of the interns, this meek little girl, was supposed to do it, but for some fucking reason she just didn't do it. I spent two days negotiating something else instead. Negotiating, did you have to pay or something? Basically, when that encore concert happens, I need to plaster that chick's face all over the front page. Okay. Alright, one last drink before I go. Give me something bitter to wake me up. Alright, something bitter. What if some alcohol would help too? Okay, give me a bitter drink. What we got? Gut punch. Manly strong. He seems to like that kind of stuff. Optional karma train? Yeah, let's put one in. All aged. And mix. Have a gut punch on ya. Yeah, this works just fine. Man, that girl's producer was angry as fuck, trying to negotiate with him as a hassle. I've had less problems dealing with social justice warriors. Oh, don't get involved with that. <laughs> Who? So-called justice warriors, that mafia vigilante group that runs around solving crimes in swimsuits. <laughs> oh yeah. Those artificially blonde, artificially tan folks with big blunt objects, yeah. They're an interesting group, you know. They only accept people born or raised in South California and go through hellish training on a daily basis. They have to. No normal person can run around in swimsuits in this cold weather. They have an interesting view on the world and how it works, but they're pretty sensitive too. Too many outlets have insulted them in the past, and they're trigger happy against defamation. I've had a dozen guys in speedos talking to me about some news while flaunting their bags of batteries. <laughs> and they were still more polite than that producer guy. Think about it, watching a banana hammock move at the same time as a bag of batteries was more pleasant. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's a banana hammock and bags of batteries audience somewhere though. Well, I'm out. Okay, thank you. Please come again. Yeah, yeah, see you later. That was, uh, tiring. <laughs>